at the turn of the century, or rather, precisely 2345 on the 31st of December 1899. 50 members of a secret society called the Dream Stalkers met in the great room of their meeting house. They were all dressed in black robes, a garment depicting the status of a founder member of the society. There was a very important reason, which brought them together on that cold night in December. It was the night magical powers, they believed, could be called upon from a chamber set deep inside a distant planet. These powers had the capability, if used correctly, to create a magical world, besides bestow, to those present, powers, that would lead to immortality. The world controlled by the Dream Stalkers was to be known as Plagarma. Plagarma would become a playground for the children of the Dream Stalkers. A world their children could visit in safety, where they could play without worry and meet children from different countries, as the movement expanded. The Grand Master of the Dream Stalkers, standing on a small raised platform at the front of the hall, looked down on the Founder members watching him. Tonight we begin the journey. The passageway leading to the Timeless Chamber is beginning to open, as was foretold in the Chronicles of Lee, the inspiration of our sect. You all have your part of the chart that will finally call on the Chamber to release its secret and begin to form our new world. One by one, you will come up on this platform and recite your words. There cannot be a break, there cannot be an error in the words spoken. If that happens, our chance to call on the chamber's powers will be lost for another hundred years. The Grand Master moved to one side, while the members formed a line stretching around the outside edge of the hall. All of them now waited in silence for the hour of midnight. Then the clock on a church, not very far from where they were all congregated, began to strike the opening chimes. Everyone was ready, many holding their breath expectantly. Each had only three words of the chant. This was because, they believed, no one person could take more power through their body than the three words would generate, and remain alive when the chant finished. As the first toll of twelve welcoming in a new century rang out, the chant began. One by one they came forward and uttered their words, the final ones coming from the Grand Master, completing the magical sequence, at the end of the twelfth toll. For a short time nothing happened, some believed it had failed, until suddenly the great room began to fill with mist. The mist was swirling around the Dream Stalkers, emitting a strange blue glow. As it swirled, and became more dense, it also became brighter until the blue light touched every corner of the hall. Many of the older members grasped their heads, the pain intense, as an unseen force began to draw the very life from them. There were screams as more and more of the members experienced the pain. Some collapsed on the floor, unable to take what was happening, but the pain would not go away. A sphere had begun to form from the swirling mist in the center of the hall. This sphere began to grow larger and more and more dense, as the mist was sucked in. Added to this, what started as a distant rumbling had now increased to an ear-shattering level, drowning the screams of pain coming from the Dream Stalkers. As the last of the mist entered the sphere, the blue light began to change to an intense white light, so bright, everyone turned away. The light emitting from the sphere passed through the roof of the hall, streaming high into the sky, before becoming lost in the blackness of space. For over an hour the light continued, then as suddenly as it began, it stopped. The pain went, the light literally switched off, the sphere had disappeared. Members began to look around. The more they looked the more despondent they became. Out of the 50 members only 20 survived. The rest lay where they had fallen, their minds destroyed, their life force drawn from them. I am the Grand Master of the Dream Stalkers, and I welcome you. We have created a new world, which we have named Plagarma. This world, has become for children, a place for a child to have adventure and play in safety. 
We the Dream Stalkers invite you to join us and look forward to your child joining all the other children very soon in Plague Armor.